is Stephen Prentice, and in this service desk tutorial, I'm going to help you help a user install a printer. This is going to be relatively simple. It should take about five to seven minutes. Uh, all you need is the make and model number of the printer. The IP address would be wonderful, and the full printer name would also be good. I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, we're going to walk the user through this without having to remote in to their PC to get this done. So let's click on Start. Click on Printers and Faxes. Now in Windows 7 it's going to say Devices and Printers, but the process is relatively the same. Let's click on Add a Printer. Click Next. A Network Printer. Next. Find a printer in the directory. Click Next again. Now these fields look promising, but unfortunately they don't work well. So we're going to click Find Now. Find every printer in the directory is what we're doing right now. Now we're going to guide the user through doing this. I'm going to open up the window, broaden it a little bit so you can see some of these fields in the different columns. Now, the first step is to click on Model and then Sort by Model. Now, if they have the full printer name here or the IP address, you can sort by that and find it a lot faster than this process. But for the most part, this works. It takes a little bit more time, but it works. So we find their model number. Let's say, for instance, this, this one. It's a 4600. We've got a few of them here. But then we're going to go to the location field, and we're going to look at those, and we're going to ask them some questions. You know, is this where you're at? Is this a printer you want to uh, print to? And if it is, we're going to right-click on it, do properties, and we're on the terminal server going to print a test page. They don't have to do anything. We'll click print, and they'll confirm if it printed. If it did, then good. We'll have them go ahead and double-click on that. It'll end up in their list of devices here, and it should be default. And let's make sure it's default, and then have them print a test page to it to make sure they're connected to it, and good to go. And that's it.